In this video, we're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create this AI-powered search assistant. This is a custom AI-powered research assistant that researches for me a specific industry at a specific time of the week of my choosing. And you can build your own, and this is incredible, particularly if you have to research a lot for work or for university or for, for whatever it is that you do. This research assistant will do all of the comprehensive research for you and then send you that research in a very nice formatted way by email or by Slack or whichever communication channel you use. In addition, you can even get it to send that research directly to your social media profiles. It really is a game changer if you do a lot of research for work. To get started, you're going to do a couple of key components. The first and the most important tool is Make, that's M-A-K-E. Make is a little bit like Zapier. It helps us connect platforms that don't have native connections. For example, in this instance, we're connecting a couple of things together. We're connecting ChatGPT with LinkedIn or ChatGPT with Slack and even ChatGPT with Medium. So it really is a very, very useful tool and it has thousands and thousands of connections. If you haven't done any automations, this is an incredible no code tool automation that I highly recommend you try. If you wanna try this out and get an account to make, you can sign up using the link in the video description below. This is an affiliate link. So if you use it, it helps us out a lot at no additional cost to you. The second tool that you're going to need is Perplexity. Perplexity AI is an AI powered search assistant and it has completely replaced Google search for me for more than six months now. If you haven't used it, I highly recommend it, but this really is the key to our whole research assistant. And the third item that we need here is access to the playground of ChatGPT because we're making custom GPTs here and the way that you can access custom GPTs through the API is by creating them in the playground, not in the front end of ChatGPT. So I'll need you to go ahead and create an account on all three platforms if you haven't done so already. That's Make, Perplexity and the OpenAI Playground. I'm not going to show you how to access the API keys of OpenAI because you kind of should know how to do that already ready and there's a bunch of videos that show you how to do that. Anyway, once you've got all your items ready to go, you're going to go to make and make. When you sign in, it's going to look like this. Uh, yours probably won't have anything here because you haven't created a scenario yet. You're going to click the button here that says create scenario at the top right corner. And the first thing to do is to, we unfortunately need to purchase the connection from Perplexity to make because it's such a new connection. So we're going to click the scenario button and you're going to research for perplexity. And you can see that it says perplexity AI community. This will change after we make the purchase. But once you click perplexity, it'll take you to the integration page for perplexity. And you just want to click install. Yes, we're going to leave the make website. And here the guys at Synergenic have been kind enough to create this connection for make, which is quite complex to do and you can get access to it for 37 pound which ends up being about 50 american dollars and trust me you might think that's a lot but the amount of time that this saves you is well well worth it once you get access and you make all of the payments you're going to get an email from the developers the email is going to look something like this here's your access code to perplexity ai you want to save that access code because once you have it now you have an invitation for perplexity so make sure you save that. Once you've made that purchase, you got that email, I want you to create a new scenario on make. And this time we're gonna look for perplexity again. And now we've got a perplexity AI that says invited, which means our connection is done correctly. I've already installed it. You'll have to put your API key from perplexity, which we're gonna get in a second. And you'll have to put your unique code into the connection before you see these create a chat completion or make an API call. To get the API key from Perplexity is very, very simple. You're going to go to your Perplexity account and done and down in the settings page, you're going to have access to the API here. I want you to click that. You need to put some credits. I suggest you put five or $10, whatever you want, but trust me, you use very, very little for each call here. So it's not like you're gonna be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, even if you do a search every day. The main thing that you want is here, the API key. I'm hiding mine for obvious reasons, but once you have that API key, and once you've got some credits on your Perplexity account, you're good to go. Save that API key because it will request you to paste that API key in this connection with Make. Once you've got all that set up, it should look like this and you're going to create a chat completion. Now that we're ready to go, 
before we start building this whole thing out, it's really important for you to get the prompt right for perplexity first. What do I mean by this? Well, you wanna to go to perplexity and make sure that the research that you're getting from the prompt you gave perplexity is what you want. Now, I have already made that uh, prompt for you and this is kind of what it looks like. You just need to fill it out appropriately. And all you need to do is just fill out your generic industry or your field wherever it's highlighted in green. And yes, this prompt will be available in the description. Once you have copied this prompt and filled it out to your liking appropriately, you can test it out in Perplexity AI first. I filled out the prompt completely. I'm gonna paste it into Perplexity. And if it looks this long, don't worry. It can take that much information, particularly if you've got the pro search on, but don't worry about that for now. I just want you to hit enter. And I want you to see the information that it comes up with and see if that's right for you, if you're happy with it or not. I'm doing some research in a certain part of the world, in this instance, Southeast Asia. And it's pretty incredible. I'm liking the stuff that it's coming out with. So I think I'm going to stick with that prompt. The key here for this whole thing is the prompt for perplexity. So if you don't know how to build the right prompt for you, I've got a little tool for you at the end of this that's a prompt generator that you can get it to, that you can get it to essentially reverse engineer the prompt that I have to meet your requirements that you're looking for. But take some time into creating the prompt appropriately. I've tried to help you out as much as possible by giving you the template of the prompt that I use, but that's very, very much key here. So I'm happy with this output, but now that I'm happy with the prompt because it's given me the right research output that I want from Perplexity, I'm comfortable enough to build my whole research assistant now. So. We're going to create an action and again, we're going to, once you've typed in perplexity and chose the invited one, the yellow one, you're gonna go create a chat completion. Uh, we're gonna keep minstrel here. We're not gonna change the temperature, the tokens or anything, but here when it says messages, this is the message that you're going to give to perplexity. So we're gonna add the item content, which is going to paste the whole prompt and yeah, it's big, but trust me, uh, it can do this whole thing. It's quite good. And then the role is just gonna be a uh, user because we're gonna act like a user and the rest, don't worry about it for now. It's gonna be okay. It's more about setting the parameters for the uh, language model and we're going to hit okay. Now, before adding anything else, I like to save this. So I'm just going to name this save and we're going to run it once already because we can't we want that search to happen because we want that data that we can push through during this whole building phase you can see it's loading now i'm going to give it a second so we see that it's completed the action it's completed the search but we want to see where it's where the data where the output of that data is and you see here two parameters the input and the output within the output parameter you're going to go to uh, usage, sorry, you're going to go to choices, one, message, content, <laughs> and then you're going to see the whole content that the perplexity search made. And you might wonder why it's in HTML. I define the output within the prompt to be in HTML. You don't have to, but I'll show you why this is a good thing in a second. You don't have to read HTML, by the way, just define the output as HTML. But I see that it's done the research and this looks pretty good and detailed as well. Now, from this step onwards, it's really up to you how you would like this research to be and to go and to flow and to be delivered to you. I'm going to keep it very nice and simple for this time and I'm just gonna get it to send me an email with the research. And once you've gotten Make AI, the next thing you're gonna do is just type in email. You're gonna choose the first one and we're going to get it to send an email. Uh, we're not gonna save after sending. The subject is going to be research system. Uh, and here, this is why I like the content to be HTML because then it's nice and formatted in my email. Uh, and the content, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We need to pick the content from the perplexity search. So we need to find it again and we're going to go to choices down here. We're going to go to message. We're going to go to content. And you know you've chosen the right one because it starts reading you the uh, beginning of the content that it created for us. And we're gonna to go to content and click okay. Oh, the one thing that we need to do as well is 
add a recipient here, obviously, sorry. <laughs> uh, add the recipient. In this instance, I'm gonna add my email. And click OK. Again, throughout the whole flow of this thing, it's really good to save it. And now, because we've run this already, we don't have to run the whole thing again, but what you should do is run this module only. And it's going to run just the email section of it because we've got the uh, content of it already. I'm gonna go and see if it's emailed this to me. And sure enough, in my email, it says research assistant. If I open that, it says, oh, okay, I don't have the content. So let's see what happened there. Troubleshooting like this in a video is always really good. I'm going to just run the save it and then run the whole thing again. It's doing the search and it should send the email. Cool, so now it's done the research again and it's sent the email. I'm gonna go back to my emails and see here. Boom, there we go. Now it's done correctly everything that I wanted to do. Uh, it's given me uh, case studies and more importantly, all of the sources are there as well. So you can double check them, but okay. Research assistant kind of done, but let's take it a step further now. Um, if you want it there, that's there's your research assistant that's gonna email you whenever you want. So let's set up a few of the timings here. We have got the research assistant in the researching the things that we want and we're happy with it and it's sending us an email. Now, when do we want it to send that information? Let's say you want to make sure you've got this every Monday morning down here where it says every 15 minutes that's where you're going to select the timing. We're going to run, for example, every um, days of the week. We're gonna choose every Monday and we're gonna choose uh, 6 a.m. So then when I wake up, I can see my research from the assistant and go okay. And if that's it, you're happy with that, you're going to click scheduling. And now every Monday at 6 a.m., you don't have to do anything else as long as you've got everything set up correctly, you've got enough credit on perplexity, you're kind of ready to go. But let's take it a step further. I'm just gonna stop this for now. And let's say I want to create this into a more digestible format so it's easy for me to read or it's ready for me to send to um, a Slack channel that I run or my colleagues at work or my boss, for example. And I don't wanna spend the time to read everything and then have to rewrite everything in a more digestible format. This is where the connections with ChatGPT and your custom GPTs get very, very incredible. We're going to just here create a router. This allows you to send that research in a few different ways. So we've already sent it to email, but instead of the emails, we're going to send it to one of our pre-tamed GPTs. This is why I've asked you to create the playground. So, Within the playground, you see that I've created uh, tens of assistants because I like to create a custom GPT that is very good and specific at doing one certain thing. I don't like one custom GPT doing a bunch of different things because I find that the content isn't as good. For example, I've got here an SEO specialist, one that writes a newsletter, one that writes to a private Facebook group, another one to a LinkedIn post, and a weekly blog update. So let's say I need to turn this into a newsletter or ready to be a LinkedIn post. I've already done my, um, I've already built my assistant. If you want a video on how to create a custom GPT assistant in the playground side of things, just leave it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to make that. But you can see here that I've already created my custom assistant uh, and defined the output as well, beautiful. So. The name of this is Sparkle LinkedIn Post because that's what he does, that's what his name and he turns things into LinkedIn Post. So I'm going to back, go back to my perplexity and search for applications. I'm gonna go to open AI. I'm gonna choose the first one here. And the trick here is to, uh, to click select message assistant. And now, uh, the assistant that I want to choose again is my LinkedIn post and the message is turn this research. So I've told my custom GPT to turn this research into a short, engaging and easy to read LinkedIn post that encourages p interaction with the post. One important thing to note here is um, the if you're sending this directly to LinkedIn, you need to keep the character count less than 3,000, I believe it is. So we're going to make it. Okay. 
and then you need to actually give it the research, right? So again, we go to uh, from here, we need to choose the choices, the messages, and the content. So remember, your custom GPTs are already trained as an expert LinkedIn content specialist, but you still need to message it and give it some instructions. Unless you've already set the instructions in the custom GPT, and then that's different. But you know, I like to kind of speak with mine a little bit. Um, so now I've got that, and I've can hit OK. And if you work in a company, usually you need to double check all the content in the copy before it goes out. So we're going to go the uh, let's say the corporate route and send it to a certain channel on Slack. I'm going to create a message just to, for example, a private Facebook group message. And the text will be the output of this, which is under content, text, and the value here. Okay, now we're just going to save this again and we're going to test this whole thing again. You can see now that the research is being handled by our custom GPT and it's writing and it's beginning to rewrite it for us and it should be sent to Slack and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And you can hear, you can see this now that in my uh, Slack channel on the private Facebook group, there's just messages that I get ready for a fa Facebook group. It's, we've got it here um, and it's created that into a nice and enticing LinkedIn post. And that's really it because here is it needs to be very very custom for you how you want your messaging to be done but remember with the router now you can send this to any direction you want if we want to publish direct to facebook as well uh, we just do the facebook connection uh, and link and post it to my account or whatever that is whatever that is that's why this tool is extremely extremely powerful um, even more so when you get the research and you connect it to a custom trained GPT, maybe that's a tone of voice one that you like uh, and send it everywhere else, it really, really saves hours and hours on end. If this is a bit too overwhelming because you need to connect a bunch of things together and you've never done this, no worries. I prepared this whole thing ready for you into a bundle, which you can download and I'll show you where you can get that in a second. Most importantly, in that bundle, there is a JSON file. And the JSON file allows you to import the blueprint of the flow that I've just created. And for example, I'll just choose this one here that I've created earlier. And when you open that and save it, it automatically has the research assistant ready to go for you. You of course then need to go and make the connections, but it's got all of the prompts ready there for you to go. You can purchase this whole bundle. Uh, if you go to the stand store and go AI powered research assistant, you click on get my assistant and for the price of a beer, you can get this whole thing ready set for you. Now you don't only just get the JSON file. Like I said, you get, to, you get a bunch of more things. I want you to get value for your money. So you get the JSON file, which does the flow for you. You get the prompt engineer prompt. So it's a prompt that helps you either reverse engineer or make more complex research prompts tailored for you. So you don't have to kind of mess around and fundle around with the prompts. This will help you create that for you. You've got your copywriter prompt that will help you create that research into a very digestible format and send it to your email, to LinkedIn or whatever that is. And then you've got the AI powered research assistant prompt, the one that we used in the beginning, just so you can have and, and do whatever you want with. So it's kind of like a, a ready-made research assistant ready for you. And yes, you can get that from the stand store by clicking on the link, get my research assistant, and the whole thing is ready for you to go. Now, just remember, it doesn't give you free access to make or perplexity, but it does the whole job for you in, ter in terms of the setup. I hope that helps. I hope this was useful. If you want me to create more videos like this, creating really, really useful AI powered automations, AI powered research assistants and anything else, just give this channel a follow and a like, and let me know in the comments below what else you wanna see next. Peace.